Where is Brasidas? What do you want with him? We fought together. A friend? Yes, and a friend of Sparta. Now take me to him. Stop! I have orders. Stand guard and wait for reinforcements. They were due two nights ago. You can stop waiting. I've arrived. You? The Athenians are dogs at our throats. You won't talk so tough once you see them. I join you, and all they'll see is the ferryman. Ha! Well met, warrior. You better fight as good as you talk. Come, we go to Brasidas. And it is one you cannot win. If Rosidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His blood and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop him. Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Cassandra, but I will stop.
If we continue, one of us will die. Isn't that the point? I found Mata. Finally reunited, only to lose each other again! I don't know what you were thinking back there. What? Trying to save you? That's not what that was. I told you to stay out of my way. Yet here you are. So, what? I'm a prisoner until I'm killed? That's the plan. Or I could come in there and end you any time I please. But before that, tell me what you know. I thought your cultists told you everything. Sounds like you're on their side, but they're not on yours. You think I'm just a puppet? Then prove it to me. Tell me why I'm on the wrong side. Convince me. I dare you. What do you want to know? Everything you claim to be true. But after this, I kill you. Why was I abandoned that night on the mountain? Abandon you? Is that what you call it? There's no other name for what you did to me. I was left to die. We tried to save you. They decreed my fate, and you accepted it. No one told you that I tried to save you? I ran to catch you. I killed an elder. That ended my life, too. Always trying to play the hero. It wasn't enough then, and it isn't enough now. I did everything I could. And I'm doing the same today. It's too late. There's nothing you could say to make me feel like family. They've kept things from both of us. Right. Though you claim to know much more than me. It's Nikolaos. He isn't our real father. It was another man. A man like us. <laughs> How many more secrets am I supposed to take? When will I get the truth? Gods are cruel. Themos, we've been searching for you. And you are here... ...in the gutter. I hear it shouting. It's nothing. Leave. Now! This was not your action today, girl. I am not your puppet! And you are not my master. Of course, champion. Any discretion I won't repeat. Keep in mind, you put yourself in the cell. I don't recall doing that. You have to understand. This is all for Athens, Alexius. Pericles would have impoverished the entire city. The people were living in squalor. So you had him murdered? You can't find the perfect yog without breaking some of the quail's eggs. He wasn't right for us. Killing your adversaries proves what kind of leader you are. Oh, I'm just getting started. If only you'd be around to watch. Come into the cell. You're here to kill me, aren't you? Let's see what happens. Fortunately for me, there are other fires I need to extinguish. I have heard word of revolt. Already? That was fast. I have a plan. They can't revolt if they're dead. 
I don't know how you can take on a band of rebels if you refuse to fight this one. The act itself is out of my hands. The vote has been cast. What did I tell you? The people have given me their blessing. I use their power. That's not democracy. The people have chosen their destiny, Alexios. They've chosen me. Fuck you, Cleo. <laughs> I'm not alone in this. The people of Athens have spoken without me lifting a finger. That is how you treat rebellion. They don't know what they're agreeing to. The cult wins, Alexios. Now, I have to see about the boat heading to Mytilene. Its people are in for a rude awakening. <whistles> <laughs> <laughs> Timing. Interesting. Death may be the greatest of human blessings after all. <sighs> At least you tried. Surely it's the thought that counts. Thank the gods you are alive, Alexios. If those guards are not the last, I say we need to leave and do so quickly. Wait. We need to talk about Cleon. Socrates is on to that Malacca. We know what he is doing. Be brief. His equipment, Barnavas. Come, Barnavas. Alexios, meet us at Pericles' residence. There we'll discuss all we know. The steps to the Parthenon are long and built on corpses. <laughs>
you made it. Of course I did. Varnavas was ready to go after you again. Like he said, it's the thought that counts, right? Apparently. Come, the others are waiting. We were worried you wouldn't make it. Especially with every Athenian guard looking for you. Cleon will have to do more than that to stop me. What's all this? We've begun working on a plan to take down Cleon. Although I hardly call it a plan. Lots of talking, not much action. It feels different without Pericles. But his inspiration lives on. That's why we're here. Where once we gathered to forget our problems, now we meet them head on. And get back to what truly matters. To restore Athens to its former glory. So you're taking down Cleon? Tell me the plan. It won't be simple. His death would disrupt the peace and be worse for Athens. He's right. We must discredit him first. Aristophanes apparently has some play he thinks will do the job. Some play? It is so much more than that. Oh, don't get your tunic in a twist. I just don't see why we can't all love each other. It's so much more fun that way. What's so special about the play? Will your famous orange ape impression be making an appearance? Ha! <laughs> Funnily enough, that was the inspiration. Isn't it a risk to show him in a bad light in front of his admirers? I think the play will change their minds. Good art is risky, but my plan will work. We can't just sit around. Cleon is sending a boat to Mitalini to kill the people there. The people trust Cleon. They'll vote for whatever action he puts forth. But that does not mean we plan to do nothing. Taking down Cleon won't be easy. But with your help, it will be possible. I should have stayed. Someone needed to stop Cleon. Fools look backwards in times like these. And you're no fool. For now, we work to save Mitilini. So that's what all this is? Some kind of plan? Ever since I heard Cleon speak of Mitilini, I have known something was wrong, and I have been taking steps to find out just what. Your plan sounds promising. One of my students is posing as a guard at the Acropolis. Apparently, Cleon is hiding something there, and has been meeting others in secret. That's a bold move. Desperate times. If you believe there's something at the Acropolis that will help, I'll find it. I expect you'll find the proof you need of his offenses. What if the people don't turn against Cleon? They will. I'll be speaking in front of them soon. With your help, we'll show them the man behind the facade. Where do you need me to go? To the western section of the Acropolis Sanctuary. Anything else you can tell me about where to look? What I know is Cleon's always loved the statue of Athena. Sounds like a good place to start. I'll find something at the Acropolis that Cleon won't be able to deny. Good. I'm headed soon to speak in front of the people at the Pedix. If you find anything that can help, meet me there. I'll be quick. It'll be a disaster. A disaster, I tell you. Calm down. What are you talking about? My masterpiece. It will change everything. Amuse, astound, titillate, and open people's eyes to Cleon's machinations. But I need you. I'm no actor or poet, Aristophanes. By the gods, no. It's Thespis. My leading man is missing. A play with no star is no play at all. How do you know he's missing? 
He never misses a rehearsal, unless he's drunk, or with a woman, or a man. Could be anything, then. No, he knows how important this is. He wouldn't let me down. Something must be wrong. You could just get another actor. Oh, no. Thespis always draws a huge crowd for his performances. The more people who experience my blistering indictment of Cleon, the better. So where would I find him? Thespis usually doesn't go far from his home. You'd best start there. This shouldn't take long. Prepare the show, and I'll be back as soon as I find him. This looks like somewhere Cleon would come. Best stay out of sight.
muddy tracks probably came from someone in the garden. This shovel looks recently used. So to get the key, I need to find the commander Phylos. Looks like someone dug here.
USA. Something happening over there? Hmm. I was so sure there was something. Shut your roll or I'll shut it! Better not get too close. Socrates was right. 
This is exactly what we needed. Good, you're here. The people are waiting for me to speak. You should be able to use this to your advantage. It's what I could find about Cleon. Mitilini is just the first of many places that he wants to wipe out. With the sway he has over the polis, he'd get the votes for death every time. Then it's up to us right now to change their minds. So you'll join me? How am I supposed to help? You're the speaker, not me. That's exactly why you'll be able to help. I need you to act like the people who support Cleon. It won't be easy, but I'll do what I can. But Socrates, Cleon is a man of the people. Tell me, if you harm someone with a sword, are you not responsible? I am. What if you hired someone else to harm another? Are you still responsible for that harm? Yes, I'd still be responsible. You are almost too insightful, and you're completely right. If someone should be hurt by any means, and we play any role in that hurt, we are still responsible. We have agreed that we may harm another, even if not by our own hands. That's right. So let me ask you another question. Who should you trust, the many or the one who has more expertise? The majority is always right. And who is informing the majority? I suppose we're following the one at the top. And if you found out the person at the top had lied to the people you follow, what would you do? People who lie to me don't deserve my trust. Nor should they. After all, if someone lies to you a single time, what's to say they would not do so again? Yes, you're right. So you agree that someone who lies to you is not worthy of leading? Of course. Oh, Athenians, would you not also agree that you can have responsibility for harming another even through someone else? I would. And would you follow someone you found out had lied to you for their own gain? Of course not. Above all things, therefore, I beg and implore you, hear these words. The one you currently follow is lying for his own gain. Cleon has lied to you in order to get the votes needed to attack Mytilene, and we have the proof he'll do it again. Should the ship arrive in Mytilene, the people stand no chance of surviving. Now that you know the truth, you can take back your decision. Another vote must be called. The lives of those people are in your hands, too. The ship must be stopped. That probably could have gone better, but even so, I believe the people are unable to deny the proof we presented. 
I guess I learned something. It must be from all the time I've spent around you. The bait may not always be as quick as a blade, but it can have just as big an effect. But was it enough? I believe word of Cleon's misdeeds will be shared throughout Athens. Its citizens love the city and what it stands for. Nobody wishes for it to fall. Careful. Don't want to be caught here. <sighs> this must be Thespis's house. like an actor unless you're playing an Athenian guard I I hush I'm going to ask some questions and you're going to answer but commander action or what's your name bullies well bullies it's your choice whether you walk out of here do you understand yes tell me what are you looking for some stupid play they don't tell me anything play I just do what I'm told and they told me to destroy the manuscript what have you done with Thespis? S some of the boys are meant to keep him drunk in the tavern down the street. You'd better be telling me everything. All I know is they wanted to keep this actor busy. See for yourself, he's at the tavern. You sure that's all? I just follow the commander's orders. I don't ask questions. Get out of here and count yourself lucky. Thank you. Thank you. I think he's had enough. And what business is it of yours, friend? Yeah, what business? Oh, look at you. You'd best be leaving. I'm just here for Thespis. He's drunk and I need to get him home. What are you, his matter? Let's say extended family. I don't think you understand the situation. Commander Rakshanor's orders are he's not to leave. I said I'd stay. Don't want trouble. If you don't want to leave with your head stuffed up your asses, you'll go now. 
We'll be seeing you, Mistios. The commander's not a man to be messed with. Eyes not feeling too good. He said, you're behind the mask, you'll be perfectly safe, he said. You so strong, Ekaterini. Wee! Giddy up! My parents said you'll either be an actor or a drunk. <laughs> I put them. I became both. Told him Cleon will kill us all. It's more assault than satire. The sausage seller. Thank you, but you can go no further. For I know true love. I just need you ready to perform tomorrow. Of course, and I just need my muse. My love, I can't. I won't perform without her. You will perform. Uh uh, not without a Caterini. A divine name for a divine body. I mean being. Those men in the tavern, who were they? Oh, the admirers? Harmless, really. And I do like a man in uniform. You need to sober up. This play is important. So is a Caterini. I need my muse. Please, she's just west of here at the house of Aphrodite. If it means you'll do the play, I'll find your muse. Going to enjoy this? I'll mess that pretty face right up! No need for jealousy, just because your mother was a goat. Like mother, like kid. You need to die! Sometimes I wonder if leaving Capalonia was a good idea. I should watch my step around here. Muse. Hmm, not my usual type. Too many muscles. But if you've got a drachmi, we can come to an arrangement. Thespis said I'd find you here. Ah, my darling Thespis, an artist in so many ways. But let's talk about us. You don't understand. I need your help. So many do. 
These hands have helped more people than Hippocrates. No. Vespis told me to find you. Well, I'm not giving discounts to his friends, if that's what you're thinking. No. Vespis wants you to go to him. He needs you to help him perform tomorrow. Vespis does love to perform, but he'll be doing it without me this time. But you're his muse? Commander Rexenor has made it clear it would cost me my life if I were to associate with Thespis right now. I've been hearing about this Commander Rexenor a lot recently. He's one of Cleon's favorite dogs. I've heard stories from some of the girls. Likes to play dress up, got a fancy robe and mask. Likes to hurt people too. I'm sorry. He runs the local garrison. His men are always here. They tell him in an instant if I was gone. Why would this commander threaten you? It's all to do with this stupid play. They're doing everything they can to protect Cleon's image. Still, to threaten you. Actors are a superstitious bunch. Commander Rexenor knows Thespis won't perform without his muse waiting in the wings. Don't worry. I'll deal with Commander Rexenor. You don't understand what a bastard he is. He's more than just some Athenian soldier. What do you mean? Secret meetings, strange visitors. He gives me the creeps. You'll have to kill him. There's no other option. If I do this, will you go to Thespis? It'd be my pleasure. Where can I find the commander? In the barracks across the street to the north. The girls have to visit him there when he wants servicing. Doesn't have the stamina to come down here. Can you describe him? He wears one of those big stupid helms. ...makes up for other areas. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Bring me back his little sword, as proof! <sighs> I'll be back soon. Let no man be called happy before his death. Till then, he's not happy. Only lucky. There seems little doubt that Drexenor is aligned with the Cult of Cosmos. <laughs> I should be extra careful in this area.
I'll root all of you out. Is this proof enough of his death? Not quite the sword I meant. But as long as he's dead. My part is done. Go make sure Thespis is at the theater in time for his performance. You are too tense. Come here and lie a while. We've time to have a little fun, or is it always business with you? Is it with you? So blood does pulse in those veins. It roars. But what of Thespis? Thespis is an actor. Half the girls here have been his muse at one time or another. Now, we need to worry about Thespis and Aristophanes' play. This play is important to you. With it, we hope to make change, for the better. I can see there is more in your eyes, but we are all entitled to our secrets. It's enough for you to know that I plan to stop men like Commander Exenor and Cleon. Let's hope no one notices me here. Please tell me you have news of Thespis. He's fine. And he'll be fit to perform your play tomorrow. Oh, thank the gods. I know what actors can be like. Compared to what I'm used to, it was a breath of fresh air. That is so good to hear. Here, for your troubles. The people may be the heart of Athens, but my play will be its voice. Children, if Cleon should perish, you also know what a pig's education he has had. Such insults! And to think I was going to propose a statue to be erected in the city to each of you for your bravery! See! He treats us like all daughters and crows at our feet to deceive us. But the cunning wherein his power lies 
shall this time recoil on himself. Ah, alas, the conspirators are murdering me. That's what I care. So, what's next? The play was a great success, as I knew it would be. With that and the proof you presented at the Phoenix, Cleon has lost much of his popularity. Now he heads to Amphipolis in an effort to redeem himself. Alexios! Brasida sent me to find you. He's alive and well. Where is he now? Amphipolis. They're preparing for battle. If you reach him before I do, tell him I'm on the way. So what are you going to do? Brasidas needs my help. I plan on giving it to him. Though, should our paths cross, I won't hesitate to kill Cleon. Whatever you decide, remember he's only a man. I can't promise anything. Be safe. <laughs> 